I don't think I've ever seen Spark and Zero combos like this yet. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is almost six weeks away at this point, and with every event that goes by, we see more improved and optimal gameplay from creators, fans, and guests alike. I have been truly impressed and entertained by everyone's skill in the demo so far, and today we have some more exclusive gameplay from someone who really understood the combo scheme so far in the game, who goes by the name Death Daddy. No dit, yo. I might just call you father in this video game because ain't no way I'm calling you daddy for short, G. I'm sorry. But Death was able to get some of the craziest gameplay recording I've seen in the demo yet, showing off ridiculous combos we didn't even know were possible. So as always, link to their channel and original video will be down below in the description. So if you don't mind, go and show some love, fellas, because we want to uplift everybody that's playing this game. And if you're excited to see the craziest Sparking Zero combos yet, consider leaving a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's hop right in. Ladies and and fellas, we are back once again for another Dragon Ball Spark and Zero video, and I'm super excited for this one, if you can't tell. But before we do hop into the first match, which that, I mean, look at this. This is like a legit 3v1 flex right now. Bro is about to put Vegeta through some serious image training. This, this is kind of like, this reminds me of when Vegeta was torturing himself in the gravity chamber, but instead of those little robots, he got to fight three different versions of Goku, which is about to be hell. But before the first match gets underway, I do want to give a huge thank you and shout out to the homie death daddy for <laughs> that felt kind of weird but to the homie death daddy for allowing us to react to some of his gameplay from anime impulse so as always guys his original video and channel will be linked down below in the description box please go uh, be sure to support them because we want to try to uplift everybody that plans on playing this game because that's just how the community has the role from here on out but like i said i am super excited for this one because i've been seeing a lot of gameplay clips on twitter from death daddy and he, he goes crazy with the combos so i can't wait for us to be able to learn some maybe some new tech in this video that we didn't know that we could do a lot of follow-ups a lot of combos just everything i feel like this is gonna be a then, oh my god the reaction to deflect all those key blasts that close that was that was pretty nice man okay but now goku's gonna go on the offensive this is super saiyan 2 goku as well no this is super saiyan goku i think the team was base goku super saiyan goku and super saiyan 2 goku if i'm not mistaken death daddy going for the flying kicks into the launcher combo Oh, it's going to mess up the follow-up, but it's going to try to restand him with the Key Blast. And now we're just going for another. Oh, my God. Wait, was that it for Super Saiyan Goku right there? Okay, Super Saiyan 2 Goku coming out. And that, that like I said, I might have to call you father in this video. Yo, father was saying that uh, this is how they really train in, like, Tenkaichi 3 and things like that. They just take the character they like, uh, place them up against uh, the CPU, a lot of different characters, and put it on the hardest difficulty. I feel like that's how a lot of us are training for Spark and Zero. That's what I was doing a couple of months ago, at least. And now we're going to see Gamma Burst Flash coming out. Hopefully, hopefully we should be seeing Super Saiyan. Yep, there it goes right there. Yes, sir. Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. Bro, I love seeing this every time. I just got to see him charge one time, man. Super Saiyan 2 Goku trying to be a little bit annoying right here. Almost got Father. Oh, there goes the aura. Almost got Father down to the last health bar, but I don't think he's going to need it, man. I have complete. Oh, the smash attack into the launch combo again. Dang. See, that? that is something. I feel like maybe he could have connected that. Maybe the timing was just slightly off. Oh, now we got the super armor against the key blast. Okay, sparking mode combo. Then we're going to restand him with the key blast and just go. Damn, that was all a true combo. Yo, I just looked over for a second and he was at like 25 hits after the key blast. I didn't think that was a true combo, but you can. Damn, you can restand them from that far away. Okay, so it was blue Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan 2 Goku. All right. Damn, you can restand them from that far away and home and dash in and still continue to combo, man. That's insane. A gut punch from the launcher combo. I'm gonna stay on him with the key blast. Flying kicks. Oh, this was sick right here. So now we're and we're not even breaking the building like that, too. So now we really get to see like the setting inside the building and thing. Oh, yo, he's showing us all of this stuff right now. I like how he's uh like fighting on the ground or fighting on the floor in the building, so we really get a good look at everything. Revenge counter from Goku coming out, but it's gonna get responded to with a sway. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I thought we were lagging for it, man. I was about to say recording. Please don't crap out on me. Oh, my God. What is happening? Oh, Lord. I can't see anything. Oh, nice reaction again to deflect those key blasts. All right, so now we're right back on. Go Wait. Oh, it looked like he was just tanking those key blasts. I didn't know what was happening. Key eye cannon. 
All right, so now we're going back in Super Saiyan Blue Evolve. Yo, I really appreciate him showing this off, like, nonstop. Every chance he gets, he's trying to go Super Saiyan Blue Evolve. Okay, a little bit of a vanish back and forth right here. We're going to get the best of Goku. Going to finish that combo. Yeah, bro, I love seeing that aura, man. It just That might be the most... Is, the, is this the most fluid aura in the demo so far? I can't wait to see what Whis's aura looks like, man. I know it, it might just be like white, like uh, base Goku's, but I hope they do something kind of funky with Whis's aura, man. I feel like it. I feel like it'll look pretty sick. So next match is gonna be Goku versus Scouter Vegeta, and I think is this just? No, we don't know for sure yet. I don't know who's on this team with Scouter Vegeta, but uh, Death Daddy is probably just going Goku versus this this three person team right here, if I had to guess. Oh, Vegeta recovered right in time to get away from that ground throw, man. Nice. Okay. Oh, explosive wave going to get him off of him. And we're going to short dash it. Yo, the movement right here is actually going kind of crazy. I love that combo follow-up right there. You should be able to ground throw after that follow-up, right? Do you, do you have time to uh, get in the ground throw after you do that finisher? Or do they recover pretty much instantly? If you guys can let me know down below in the comments. All right, now we're back in the buildings. Yeah, he recovered pretty quick right there. I do really like this map. Like, fighting inside the buildings is cool. I like fighting inside the buildings way more than I like fighting underwater, if, if you guys can even believe that. I don't know. Just something about fighting underwater in this game makes me, like, hella claustrophobic, man. I just, I can't take it. As soon as I get taken under, oh, now we're going Kaioken. As soon as I get taken underwater in this game, I'm doing anything I can to get back to the surface, man. I, I just can't take it for some reason. It just feels weird. Am I the only one that thinks like that? Maybe that's weird to you guys. Oh, that, that was a nice launcher combo into that finisher right there. Damn, the Kaioken charge aura looks insane. I think that's my first time seeing that outside of, I think they might have shown that in a trailer. But that's the first time I'm really seeing that, like, charge for that long. Oh, straight into the handheld spirit bomb. Damn, I think uh, Vegeta had his back turned to him, so there was no way he was avoiding that. Unfort. Oh, so he does have a full team for this match. Okay. So we have three Gokus versus maybe this is three Vegetas right here. Scouter Vegeta, Majin Vegeta, and I would assume Blue Vegeta. Possibly. I think that might be what's going on here. All right, so this match is a little bit less stressful for uh, for Death Daddy slash Father right here. He doesn't have to worry about the 3v1 collapsing on him. All right, sparking mode combo. What's he about to do right here? Oh, no. oh, wait. Is this going to connect? Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Oh, nah. The grab into the warp Kamehameha. Oh, bro. Okay. All right. I'm invested now. If I wasn't invested before, if you guys weren't invested before, I think we are now. That, that was crazy. Okay, all right, Vegeta saying I could do that too. Damn, I, I kind of want to go back and see that combo again. That was nuts. Yo, the grab into the warp, Kamehameha. Bro, he is on it with these key blast deflects. Like, nah, not happening. Okay, key eye cannon from Majin Vegeta. Damn, turning straight around him. Oh my god, yo, Majin Vegeta kind of wiggling around right now. Okay, but Dead Daddy going to get the best of him. He's almost damn. I'm surprised he didn't die from that. I thought that the, I thought that Majin Vegeta was dead from that. Maybe he did too. That's why he didn't follow that up. I thought he was dead from those key blasts. Yo, that attack looks so good in this game, man. I don't even know the true name for that attack. If you guys can kind of help me out down below in the comments, the attack that uh Super Saiyan 2 Goku used against Kid Buu that he just used right there. Wait, is he going to switch out? Oh, instant transmission, mixing them up a little bit. Is he going to switch out, or is he just going to tough this out with uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku right here? Oh, okay, I think he's trying to switch out. Or is he trying to transform? No, he's trying to transform, I think. Oh, we're de-transforming. All right.
Can we deflect? Oh, that that hit him a lot faster than I expected. Maybe maybe that came at him a lot faster than he expected too. But that was that was almost a point blank final flash. Holy! All right, so now I think we're down to the. Is this the last Goku versus the last Vegeta? I'm pretty sure this is for sure. Is this the last Goku though? Vegeta does kind of have a health lead a little bit. Probably not for long. All right, let's see. Oh, Vegeta's trying to retreat a little bit. Okay, no, we do have one more Goku. All right. All right, blue Goku versus blue Vegeta right here. Let's see what happens. Yo, that grab... I'm still thinking about that grab into the warp Kamehameha, man. So, like, right there, guys, after that finisher... Um, if he had landed on the ground with Vegeta, could he have gotten the ground throw off? Oh, he was turned around. He did get that throw off that time. Yo, the curvature on these beams, it, it never ceases to amaze me, man. And, the, like, the color contrast, too. Bro, they, they just went... I can't wait to get my hands on this game, man. I cannot wait. Oh, so now we're switching it up a little bit. Oh, we're back to the 3v1s. So I think this this was Yamcha. I think it was Krillin and Beerus over there versus Gogeta. So now we're going to get some Gogeta training in. All right, let's see. I assume this might be the last match of the video because this is a 15-minute video and we're on the third match now. So if I had to guess, this will probably be the final match, guys. So I hope you can enjoy. But shout out to Dead Daddy for going crazy in this game. Oh, here goes Yamcha just spamming his beam. Yo, I swear, I think this happened in a skill, one of Skill's videos, too. And it might have happened in one of our Anime Expo videos as well. Yamcha is just like the spammer in the demo. Oh, my God. And he had the... Yo, iframes with his beam attack is kind of nuts. I don't think... I can't remember who, but I don't think everybody had... Yeah, here we go. Oh, nice deflect. I think he was kind of fishing for that a little bit, too, since we all know that Yamcha is the spammer in the demo. Oh, he missed the finisher. No. It's okay. Now we, now we just got to deal with probably deflecting another beam, right? If I had to guess. Is Yamcha going to do it? Oh, nah. Oh, he's countering. Okay. We're going to finish this up here. Nice. Yeah, I'm seeing him crashing through the building. All right, flying kicks into the trip combo. We're going to stand him back up with the gut punch, and then we're going to grab him. Can we follow this grab up with anything? Uh, I don't think he, nah, he didn't have the key. Oh, Yamcha's dead. I thought he just didn't have the key for it. Okay, we're going into sparking mode now. What is he waiting for, I wonder? Is he waiting to see maybe if Krillin throws something at him, like a Kamehameha? Or nah, okay. We're just going straight into a sparking mode combo. Key Blast Extension follow-up. Ah, that's not a true combo, but it would have been so sick. Matter of... Oh, I... <laughs> Wait, what did he just try to pull right there? Did he just try to do, like, scatter Kamehameha or something? But yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments uh, what he could have done differently right there to get that Big Bang Kamehameha to connect as a true combo. Did he, like... I think he hesitated for a second after the Key Blast follow-ups. I'm not too sure, though. You got to let me know down below in the comments. All right, so now we got Beerus coming out. Beerus coming out with almost five bars of health, too. Holy. Yeah, we got to chop these down a little bit. We got Solo Gogeta right here. We haven't seen a... I was just about to say, we haven't seen a transformation yet. But here he goes transforming into Super Saiyan. And I'm pretty sure he'll go blue at some point as well, right? All right, so now we're going back into sparking mode. Maybe he'll go blue after he shows off Stardust Fall. All right, so it looks like he wants to try to get this as a true combo. I don't blame him, man. He's, he's showing off some. Ah, here goes Beerus with the sways, man. Yo, Beerus with the sways and the counters. Yamcha with the spamming of the Kamehamehas. Who else? Oh, Frieza spams grabs. Yo, bro, they programmed the CPUs in this demo build on some nut timing. Yo, that would have been so... I had to look at the combo counter for a second. That would have been so sick right there if he was able to, like cancel the sway launcher or sway ender into that kamehameha that would have been sick but yeah they programmed the cpus in this demo build to just like do some crazy specific stuff man like i said with yamcha with the spamming beerus with the crazy defense okay rising vortex time 
and actually that is gonna do it for Beerus so we're not gonna be able to see blue Gogeta in this gameplay but I do want to say once again thank you so much to death daddy slash father for letting us react to some of his gameplay from anime impulse that was absolutely sick, bro, and I can't wait to see more gameplay from you, man. So as always, fellas, down below in the comment section, be sure to check out the original video, show some love to Death Daddy, and subscribe to their channel as well because it looks like they're going to be putting out some amazing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. And don't forget to support everybody that you see playing this game because we do want it to last for as long as we can possibly manage it. But anyways, fellas, have a great, great day, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.